Welcome back. In New York, the city and the state faced an off-in-the-court battle over the right to shelter illegal migrants and the dire need for the state and federal help. More than 104,000 asylum seekers have come through New York City since the spring of 2022. Marsha Kramer reports. No one should be surprised at what we are facing because if we don't stop the flow and if we don't allow people to work, uh, this is going to have a major impact on every delivery of service for the city of New York. Mayor Adams in Israel, city officials here in New York, pushing, pushing, pushing for more help in coping with the ever-increasing flow of asylum seekers coming here. We need uh, placements outside of New York City. I think that's very important for us to see our way through this. Deputy Mayor Ann williams Isa making the argument city attorneys made in court that the governor needs to sign an executive order forcing localities to welcome asylum seekers into their communities. Legal aid attorneys joining the city. We would all be better off if, you know, the governor would take control of the situation, would um, ensure that people could go where they need to go. The governor was nearly 250 miles away eating a hot dog and extolling the virtues of the New York State Fair. The 800 pound butter sculpture. This is epic. I love this. City officials say allowing the migrants to get work permits would help dispel some of the reluctance of other localities to put out the welcome mat. Having work authorization will make it much easier for us to, to help resettle migrants to other jurisdictions, many who right now are hesitant because they don't want to have a group of people that are in their towns or in their um, communities that can't work. There's a lot of misperceptions around who migrates during forced migrations. A lot of times people think it's the poorest of the poor. It's usually not. It's usually people who are professionals, people that were in the middle class, people with real trades and skills. The governor of Buffalo native has repeatedly resisted that mainly because of local resistance. She apparently doesn't want the right to shelter law to be applied statewide, which is ironic because at the state fair she talked about the many problems faced by local farmers, including... Finding workers, another enormous challenge, something I'm working hard on every single day.